All right, so we're back with Project Shield. Last week we showed you real boxing running on Android. This week I want to change it up a little bit and bring Andrew into the mix. Andrew is a technology engineer on the Project Shield team. Andrew, thanks for joining us. Why don't you tell us what the past few months on Project Shield has been like for you? Thanks, Well, Yeah, it's been very busy, uh -huh. but it's been great fun. So I work with a team of engineers and we go out to game developers all around the world and get their games to look really awesome and ready for Project Shield. Excellent, and Andrew's got a bit of a surprise in store for you guys. It's a sneak peek at a sequel to the Dead on Arrival title, Dead on Arrival 2. Andrew, take it away. So the basic strategy is stay alive. You get kitted out with uh, a whole bunch of different weapons. In this one, we've got like a rocket launcher, an ice gun, mini gun, you know, and uh, I think a crossbow. It's a whole bunch of weapons they're working on still. So some of the things we did with uh, working with N3V, we enhanced a lot of the, uh, the graphics. Uh, obviously, with the Tegra 4 processor, uh, Project Shield is, is like super powered mobile. It's crazy how, uh, how much graphical horsepower we have. So we put in things like uh, dynamic lighting. So you might see on the end of the weapon, there's actually a flashlight. Flashlight illuminates the different objects and the zombies in the scene. It also casts shadows. So um, as we walk up to them, you'll see there's uh, dynamic shadows. Uh, being cast and this is really a first for mobile and now with Tegra 4 we're able to put them in in real time. Uh, the other thing we did is we added physics so you see this as all, in all good shooters there are crates and uh, we've added physics to them so we can actually shoot them and watch them explode plus we added ragdoll to the, uh, the zombies lots of gibs so when you're uh, when you're shooting the zombies not only are you getting points and getting extra money to buy different traps and different uh, weapons but you're also having a bit of fun with uh, bits of zombie going all over the place so with Tegra 4 we have a special little uh, toggle here where we can show you what it would be like without the Tegra 4 so let's just turn that on now and you'll notice all the physics objects go away uh, the lighting becomes much more simple. Uh, we lose all our shadows. We only get uh, what, what we call baked in shadows. And uh, it just looks like a mobile game again. And then we toggle, boom, we're back in. Proper Tegra 4 enhancements, proper lighting, proper shadows, and the game just looks amazing. Uh, one of the big, huge features that all the fans have been asking for is multiplayer. And with Dead on Arrival 2, you're going to be able to play with other players uh, over the internet, or indeed if you have Project Shield, you'll be able to play together in, uh, in your living room. Right, so there it is, Dead on Arrival 2. It's a great looking game. I can't wait for it to come out. The multiplayer aspect is just gonna be phenomenal. Great, Andrew, thank you so much for showing us Dead on Arrival 2. And speaking of multiplayer, that's one of Project Shield's strengths. You know, you can get your friends together, grab your Project Shields, and you got multiplayer on the go. Make sure to tune in next week for another Android Thursdays and catch our PC demos on Mondays. And follow us on Twitter, at NVIDIA. Catch us on Facebook, facebook.com slash NVIDIA. And find us on Google Plus, NVIDIA. NVIDIA.